sail on this new sea because there is new knowledge to be gained and new rights to be won and they must be won and used for the progress of all there is. Well, space science, like nuclear science and all technology, has no conscience of its own. Whether it will become a force for pets or bapping depends on us. And only if the furry states occupies a position of preeminence can we help decide whether this new ocean will make us wag our tails or bear our teeth. I do not say we should or will go unprotected against the territory marking of space any more than we go unprotected against the territory marking of land or sea. But I do say that space can be explored and mastered without repeating the mistakes that furs have made in extending their paws around this globe of ours. There is no strife, no prejudice, no national conflict in outer space. Its hazards are unknown to us all. Its conquest deserves the very best of all fur kind, and its opportunity for peaceful cooperation may never come again. But what's this, some say, of space? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why bark up the highest tree? Why, so long ago, did we chase our tails? Why does mice play Rexus? We choose to go to space. We choose to go to space in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one we are willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, <coughs> and one which we intend to win.